Hyundai Motor Company's new strategic plan, announced earlier this week, includes the introduction of an all-new dedicated electric vehicle architecture in 2025. It is called the Integrated Modular Architecture, EMA, and, according to the South Korean manufacturer, it's an evolution of the Electric Global Modular Platform, EGMP, used currently in new BEVs from Hyundai Motor Group, Hyundai, Kia and Genesis. The EMA appears to be a more universal solution, as it's expected to be used in all kinds of passenger electric cars, all segments, as well as in purpose-built vehicle, PBV. Hyundai said that the EMA will standardize not only a chassis, but also a battery system and motor. There will be nine standardized battery packs, with cell-to-pack approach, potentially thanks to CATL's technology, and five standardized electric motors for the entire lineup of vehicles. Unlike the existing BEV development system, which has different types of battery packs for each model, EMA can be equipped with standardized battery packs to attach flexibly regardless of the model to improve cost efficiency. Through the cell-to-pack system, the new architecture can secure sufficient energy density and shorten charging time. Standardized five type of motors also will be installed on EMA according to model needs. Four of the drive units, M-Series for passenger cars, will be ready for 800V battery system voltage, while the fifth S drive unit, for purpose-built vehicles, is envisioned for 400V system voltage. According to one of the slides, the efficiency of the new drive units will improve. The cost and weight are expected to decrease by respectively 35% and 30%, between 2030 and 2021. A similar path of noticeable improvements has been outlined for the new battery systems. There will be a total of nine battery pack types, including 6M, 800V systems for passenger cars, and 3S, 400V systems for purpose-built vehicles. According to the presentation, in 2025, the company will add the LFP battery chemistry, on top of the NCM, for cost-sensitive applications. The solid-state batteries are expected to arrive by 2030. The general direction is to increase energy density by 50%, between 2030 and 2021, lower the costs by 40%, between 2030 and 2021, and further improve charging time. Hyundai says that beyond cell-to-pack, CTP, the cell-to-frame systems, battery cells as structural elements, directly mounted to the chassis, are under consideration. Let's note that between 2021 and 2025, when EMA will be launched, there are two steps 3-gen and 4-gen battery systems, which means that there are some improvements within the EGMP platform on the horizon as well. Thanks for watching. Please like my video and subscribe EVpedia for more electronic vehicle news and updates.